guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would share with you a couple of things that I like to do to try and stay as organized as possible. So I'm quite an organized person by nature. I always have been, even as a little girl. I used to get up really early in the mornings, make my bed, and I'd always have my school uniform laid out ready to go. So I've always been like that and I feel like it's just part of me, it's who I am. And I find that a lot of the things that I thought I would share with you um, are kind of just habit now um, and I do them just without thinking. But I do know there are a lot of people that um, aren't as naturally organized and it does take some effort. So hopefully the things that I'm going to share with you today help you or maybe just inspire you to kind of get a little bit organized. I know for me personally, when I feel like I've got my stuff together, I just feel so much better. Um, it's nice to kind of clear your head and just feel like you've got everything under control. So I hope you enjoy and let's just jump right in. So my first tip would be to try and keep a planner or a diary. And what I like to do is once a week, just designate some time to sit down and plan my week or my month um, in advance. And I feel like this is a really, really good way to kind of make sure you always remember important dates. Um, and I like to keep a physical diary like this. Um, this one is from Kiki K. Um, and I really, really like it because it shows your week at a glance. So you've got your whole week over two pages. Um, and then it also shows um, the month. Basically, once a week, I will sit down and plan what I've got going on for the week ahead. I feel like it's just a really good way to always make sure you're thinking about what's coming up, you don't miss any important dates, um, and it's also nice to kind of just see everything laid out in front of you. I'm quite a visual person, I like to be able to see everything, or if I've got something coming up that I need to do, it's nice to kind of tick it off or highlight it. Another thing I thought I would mention is um, something that I have just started doing this year, and it's mainly because I live with my boyfriend, and there's been quite a few things this year that have just been important dates, things that we need to remember, um, events, anything like that. So what we have done is put together a little calendar and I basically just printed this off um, a free calendar download from the internet and I laminated it. Basically what I will do is write any important dates that we've got coming up in the month and we put this up in our kitchen. So this works really, really well. We put stuff like rent due or someone's birthday or if we're away, we'll just put the days that we're away. So I really like having a physical calendar like this because as I said, it's nice to be able to see everything. I do know a lot of people um, like to use their phones and to be honest, I think this year I have really started to use my calendar on my phone a lot more as well. Um, but. I still am kind of doing a bit of both. I still am using a calendar and a diary. Um, this one is more personal things that I put in here. So it will be like work related or if I'm meeting up with friends or if I've got um, appointments, I'll pop that in my personal kind of diary. Um, I also um, like to write when I'm working out um, and kind of keep track of that as well. And then this calendar is more for my boyfriend and I. It's anything that we, you know, are doing together or um, dates that we need to remember. I also have been, as I said, using the calendar on my phone a lot more. That's actually really, really good because you can sync up your calendars with other people. You can share your calendars. They can see yours. So that's a really, really good idea um, if you are really busy and you've just got heaps of things that you want to always see on your phone. I like to do that, but I haven't quite switched over yet to paperless. So I guess it depends on your lifestyle. I bring my phone everywhere with me, so it does make sense to have your calendar on your phone. Having a calendar or a diary is a really, really good way to 
keep track of things that are coming up and you really won't miss anything if you get into the habit of writing things down. So on the topic of writing things down, keeping everything in a diary or a planner, my next point is to just write lists. Now, I am one of those people that loves writing lists. I know that sounds ridiculous. And these are just some of the notebooks that I keep which help me to <laughs> stay on track and kind of just write my lists. <laughs> so I've got heaps of different notebooks. I find that when I kind of write things down if I've got a lot on my mind, it helps me to kind of stay on track um, and I'm more likely to do those things if I write them down. Um, otherwise, if they're just up in my head, I might forget about them. I've got a few different notebooks which I have, which help me to keep track of lots of different things. Um, the ones that I particularly love are from Kiki K, which is an amazing stationery brand. I've got this one here, which is like a little notepad and it says weekly good habits. Um, so you can basically write down all the things that you want to be doing during the week. There's a little spot to tick it off and you can also write your reward. I really love this because um, if there's something that I really want to stick to during the week, like if I you know, want to aim to work out five days a week, I'll write that down, tick it off each day, and it's kind of just nice to be able to see it and just have that satisfaction of ticking it off. I also have another one here which is a to-do list, so you can just tick everything off as you go. I love this one. One that I've been using a lot this year which I really like, and it just looks like this, it's a food and exercise diary. But this has space for all the meals that you have during the day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and then also a space for the exercise that you do. This is awesome if you are trying to achieve something or just kind of want to stay on track with healthy eating or regular exercise. I mean, this isn't essential, but I really, really like this because as I said, I love being able to see um, what I've been up to or what I'm doing. So my next tip would be to try and keep your space and your surroundings as clean and tidy as possible. And the best way for me to do that is to kind of make sure everything has a space and always put everything back where it belongs. So this is particularly important for me because I live in a small apartment. So I don't really have the luxury of, you know, having heaps of space and having lots of things all around because it just feels too cluttered, too small. A good example of this would be when I get ready in the morning, if I'm like trying on lots of different things, grabbing lots of hair straighteners and makeup, I'll always make sure to put everything back. And I do that as I go so that it's not too overwhelming, especially clothes. I think it's really easy to kind of grab a whole bunch of clothes, try them on, maybe just, you know, toss them on the floor, deal with it later. But it's really, really good to try and always put things back. It means that your space is going to be a lot more tidy, your mind's going to be a lot more tidy, and it's just easier when it comes to like managing your daily life. You know where everything is. I also, um, every night before I go to bed, I'll make sure to kind of straighten up the lounge or straighten up the kitchen and just kind of make sure everything's put back in its space. I really feel like that is a really good way to kind of stay organized. You're never going to feel like you don't know where anything is. Um, it'll make getting ready in the mornings easier and just generally your life will be a lot less stressful. <laughs> Another thing that I like to do to try and stay as organized as possible, which kind of falls into the whole idea of having a space for everything and putting everything back, and that is to try and label everything and also just like invest in some storage systems or containers. Um, this will just make your life so much easier and I personally feel like whenever I have anything that's labeled I just feel so organized it is honestly like the nicest feeling so I guess an example of this would be my pantry a lot of the things in my pantry I have put in containers and labeled I don't do this with everything in my life because I don't know some things you just don't need to label but where I can or where it's appropriate I like to try and have storage containers and label them because just makes me feel so organized. <laughs> 
So my next tip would be to try and meal plan and prep as much as you can. This makes me feel so organized and honestly it makes your life so much easier when you get this done. So what I normally do is sit down on a Sunday, grab my diary and my phone and I just kind of work out what I've got coming up in the week ahead. I think about work and what time I'll be home. I also will consider if my boyfriend's gonna be at home or if we're gonna be out. And that really helps me to work out what meals I need to prep or plan for the upcoming week. I have done a whole video on how I like to kind of meal plan and prep. So if you're interested to see that, I'll link it down below. So that is everything that I like to do to try and stay as organized as possible. I think the main thing that I like to do is always think ahead. I'm always kind of planning for the future and thinking about what's going on, um, which is awesome if you're trying to stay as organized as possible, but it is also really important to kind of just be in the moment and just be present. So I kind of like to try and do both, but naturally I'm always planning ahead. Um, I also thought I would mention one thing that I have done a lot this year, um, is I have been obsessed with the notes app on my phone. So I do love writing in little notebooks, writing things down, especially if you are trying to, you know, make a list and you want to kind of just tick everything off. But in terms of like general day to day, like a lot of the time I will use the notes app on my phone, especially if I'm like at work and something not work related pops into my head. I'll just quickly grab my phone, write it down in the notes and it's awesome. That is everything that I wanted to share with you. Let me know if you do any of these things or if you do anything different. I would love to hear from you. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, let me know. Um, or if you wanna see more videos like this, definitely subscribe to my channel and I will hopefully see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.